this video, we're going to go through communicating with the DHT11 uh, to get temperature and humidity readings. So, I'm going to make a new crate. DHT11. Yes. This is all standard configuration. First, we'll go into cargo.tama. We'll update to the latest version of USB IDF sys. Also use ESP IDFL 0.40 and VHT11 version 0.3.1. Yeah. Now we can go to main.rs and we use some of those crates. Uh, so we we'll use uh, DHT11 and we we'll use ESP IDFL. We need a GPIO, we need a prelude, we can just do uh, workflows. Workflows. Then we need delay, we need both delays, the ETS, which is the short delay, and pre RTS, which is a longer delay. Okay. And now we need to get our peripherals. As always, and take that and we're going to unwrap it. Okay, now we need to get the DHT11 pin that we'll use. So we'll make that uh, pin driver input output open drain. And then we're going to pass it, I'm going to pass it pin 5. And then we need to downgrade that. Okay. Now we're going to make the DHT11 object. So DHT11 new, pass it the DHT11 pin. Now we'll come into our main loop and we need to create the delay. And we're going to say it's an ETS delay. And we're going to match. Let's just start building right now, real quick, so we don't have to wait later. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to try to read. So we're going to say match DHC11 perform measurement. We're going to pass it mutable reference to DHT delay. And if we get a measurement. Then we're going to print it out. And we're going to print out temp first and degree C, and then humidity as a percentage. And then those measurements are going to be I16s that are, uh, we need to divide by 10. And they're going to be floats, so we need to cast that as a float 32 and divide by 10.0. Uh, we can put some parentheses around this just to make sure. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing again for the humidity to divide by 10.0. Great. Okay. And then we need the error case here. And the print line. Great. And then we need to delay two seconds between reading. So up here our toss, delay milliseconds, 2000. Cool. That should be it. Take a second now that we have to build from scratch. So in the meantime, we can look at um, 
ESP, IDF, HAL, Rust, delay timers. And you can see the ETS. Now we covered this before, but uh, ETS is for like short, um, short delays. And then the pre RTOS is for 10 millisecond or longer delays. So that's why we're passing in the ETS timer to the uh, DHT11 peripheral because it's going to need to do a lot of microsecond switching of the GPIO. Okay, now we can flash. And then we'll take a look at the output. Okay, let me see we're printing out uh, temp and humidity readings. I'm going to put this sensor in front of my heater for a second so you can see that the temperature is actually changing and the humidity should go down because it's dry heat. All right, there we go. See that it's working. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.